There's a whole concept of fast fashion. So we now see something on the runway or that a model or famous figure wears, and suddenly consumers everywhere want that same item. Well, when the production process takes, say, six to nine months from design to getting a good in the shop, that's not possible. But what fast fashion has figured out is how to shorten that time from design all the way to a good in a shop to six weeks. But again, that requires production to be located relatively close to the end consumer. So all of this might give rise to regionalization and trade. Um, Nike's Flyknit tennis shoes, which maybe many of you have, are actually done completely robotically. It's one piece of cloth that's cut, attached to the rubber sole. That's done in Mexico. So this brings to question whether or not we're going to see more what's often called reshoring or what we at McKinsey call nearshoring. So it takes labor costs out of the equation when you consider where you want to locate production. So then other factors become important, like the quality of the workforce, uh, the reliability and cost of the energy supply, and logistics and transportation networks. All of that does raise a lot of concerns for emerging markets and thinking about will manufacturing be their ladder out of poverty.